Tonight, meanwhile, thousands of migrants seeking asylum are lining up at our southern border. Title 42, that COVID era policy that kept many asylum seekers waiting in Mexico is going to expire tomorrow night. Now, border communities and border states like New Mexico, of course, are bracing for a surge of migrants with little or even no space to house them. Federal officials say processing centers are already stretched beyond capacity. Our KOB4 team takes us to the border tonight, and we will be there over the next few days to see how everything plays out. Let's bring in Matt Grubbs now. He joins us from downtown El Paso, just outside of Sacred Heart Church Shelter. Matt, what do things look like today? Yeah, Ryan and Tessa, this is where folks have gathered after they've crossed the border. Many of the folks here are across the border illegally, and over the past couple of days, Customs and Border Patrol has been approaching many of them and offering them a chance to turn themselves in with the likelihood that they would then be released uh, to a more uh, permanent scenario, which is essentially a temporary home and a promise to get back for a, a court date as they wait for an immigration hearing. We've spoken to a number of nonprofits down here today who are dealing with everyone who comes across the border and they say the response to that offer has been robust. Uh, but once the change from Title 42 to Title 8 at around 10 o'clock tomorrow night becomes official, this area is expected to fill up again. These are not the crowds we've been seeing. The question then becomes what a system that's already maxed out whether or not that can handle the crowds. As far as New Mexico is concerned here, a lot of these people will end up going through Las Cruces and potentially deming both those communities have already purchased buildings to handle crowds. That was from a migration surge a few years ago. And Congressman Gabe Vasquez, who was on the Las Cruces City Council back then, told us today border communities are preparing as best they can. The city has been collaborating already with uh, the mayor of El Paso, with local nonprofits, uh, with churches uh, to help deal with the influx of folks that are coming to this country seeking asylum. And so uh, I'm confident and I'm working also with uh, Border Patrol and our local mayors uh, to ensure that there's an adequate federal response uh, to process folks that are coming in. Uh, but we'll have to see. That sentiment we'll have to see sounds a little bit like a dodge at first, and we've been hearing it a lot. And the reason why is because so much of this depends on the federal government, how quickly they process people, uh, how quickly they determine who stays and who is sent away. And then it goes on to what happens next. We learned today that some migrants are being released without court dates and without a requirement to check in on a Customs and Border Patrol app. They do have to check in at an office, but it is still a much uh, less strict release requirement and the administration says it's there because they're expecting so many people to come across that they're doing this to move people through the system much faster. They say it's a public health and an expeditious thing to do. Others are concerned that this uh, leaves some people unchecked. There is a background check that happens. Uh, however, this is happening to a relatively small number of people and turning things back to New Mexico, you guys, uh, over the past year, New Mexico has seen about 12,000 people uh, encounter Countering border patrol uh, at various parts along the southern border. Over the past few months, that has grown by four or five thousand a month. Where in March, at the end of March, we were seeing twenty-five thousand people, so double what we had been seeing in the past year. So already, everyone down here is, as we've said, stretched to the max. What we're here to find out over the next couple of days is what it's going to look like when we see even more. We're back to you. Yeah, just saying we'll see is uh, almost an understatement in this scenario. Yeah, I, I agree. All right, Matt, thank you. Title 42 had quite an impact on border immigration since it took effect under the Trump administration. What is Title 42, though? And what exactly are the restrictions ending? Well, Lauren Green takes a closer look tonight. May 11th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, the Title 42 public health order will terminate. That public health order was put in place by the Trump administration in 2020. It specifically targeted immigration. The immigration restrictions were enacted under Title 42, also known as the Public Health and Welfare Act. Under the act, health officials with presidential approval can restrict the entry of people or property into the country. The policy states it's intended to prevent the spread of communicable disease. The Trump era restrictions under Title 42 were put in place during the first year of the COVID-19 pandemic before any vaccines were on the market. Since then, U.S. officials used Title 42 to expel asylum seekers more than two and a half million times 
And now those restrictions are ending. Even after nearly two years of preparation, we expect to see large numbers of encounters at our southern border in the days and weeks after May 11th. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas says a surge in border crossings is expected when the Title 42 restrictions end. We are already seeing high numbers of encounters in certain sectors. This places an incredible strain on our personnel, our facilities, and our communities with whom we partner closely. There was a similar surge in crossings last year when the Biden administration moved to end the Title 42 restrictions. In December, facilities in El Paso reported being well over capacity, and the mayor there declared a state of emergency. 19 Republican-led states sued to keep the policy in place. The case went to the Supreme Court, which prevented the policy from ending. Further arguments before the court were planned, but ultimately scrapped when the Biden administration outlined its plan to end the federal COVID-19 health emergency. When the emergency order ends tomorrow, so do the health orders associated with it, including the Title 42 immigration restrictions. Lauren Green, KOB4. And our team coverage of Title 42's expiration and the significance on the southern border is just getting started. So stay with us for the rest of this week during our newscast, of course, but also at KOB.com and our social media accounts for the latest developments.